Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty. Alright, and we're back with Great Adventures Fisher Price Pirate Ship. It's a really long title. We're just gonna call it Pirate Ship from now on because that's exactly what this is. We're on a pirate ship. Hi, Olaf. And Olaf came to join us. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Here. <laughs> and here he is, my lovely boy. <laughs> I have no idea if he's going to stay in my lap. He probably isn't. He's probably going to want to jump down and go do something else. He's probably just like, I just wanted to come in here to see what the buzzing box was. Yeah. He seems pretty content right now. I love you, buddy. Yep, and there he goes. Alright, so... Where we left off... I don't know what that noise is. I know it's in the game, but I don't know what it is. So, there was technically one thing I'd figure out. So I thought we had kind of explored half of the boat. Technically we hadn't. We've really only explored maybe a third of the boat. Because... We still have an- I don't know why I want to use actual boat terminology, and I'm trying to remember. So we've checked out the stern, which is I believe the back, and bow, which is the front. Or, we haven't checked out the bow yet, which I believe is the front. And we haven't checked out the underdeck. I don't know what the special name for the underdeck is. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember what port and starboard is. I know they're left and right, but I can't remember which one's which. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had to learn boat terminology. So yeah, we still have the front of the ship and the underneath of the ship to explore. I'm just gonna quickly check to make sure I've explored everything on this side, though. You know what I'm actually realizing? It was kind of confusing how it was working, like, how the map was working, because, like, you know, I'm expecting it to be, like, scenes that kind of link together in a sense. I mean, like, these are scenes that are linking together, but, like, I'm expecting them to be like, okay, so we were in the middle of the boat looking out on the side. And then we got to choose left and right. Do we want to go to the bow or do we want to go to the stern? So I was like, well, let's go to the back. If I got this wrong, I'm starting this video all over again. I'm starting this video all over again. Okay, no, I fact-checked myself. I am using the right terminology, right? I have all the words there, I just wasn't sure which one was which. Okay, so we looked at the bow, the front. Or rather, we are looking at it right now. And that's what was confusing me, because I was expecting us to go back to the last scene we were looking at out the side. Which I'm now realizing, I think, is starboard? Starboard? Which is... You know, if you're on the boat and you're facing the front of it, your right side is starboard and your left side is the port. Which now is starting to make a lot more sense. I don't know if this is really the history fact behind it. I'm just guessing that it's like, if that was called port because of the fact that when you pulled into the port, that was the side you got, got off on, maybe? On most boats? I don't know. Again, another history fact I'm gonna have to check myself on. Anyways, so we technically have now actually explored half of the boat. Because we've gone to the crow's nest, we've looked now over here. If we turn, we're going to be facing the side of the boat that we were facing Eesh, before. I hate shuffleboard. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Waddle. Waddle who? What do we do when we're done playing shuffleboard? <laughs> Oh, you're pathetic! I will say that I miss 90s humor a bit. I love- I love when you have these jokes that aren't necessarily adult-like, but they are probably a little bit more... mature, I suppose? Again, not mature like as an adult, but just more mature than like whatever the age range for for a game is. 
I don't know, it's like, it's kind of... Inspiring, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what the word I want to say is. It feels great to know that game developers are truly trusting kids that they can handle the content that they've made for their game. <laughs> and they're not necessarily trying to handhold them. And I think that's what I like about Fisher Price. That there's the shark raft. Ahoy! Yes, I shiver me, Shetlands, matey. Welcome. Hurrah! I surrender to your superior barrel flinging skills. I didn't get a score though. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the human cannon. <laughs> And it's broken again. I'll get right to work on it. Chin up. Oh, okay. There's a map piece nearby. I can feel it in my feathers. Out on the ocean, sailing the sea, where fun-loving swashbuckling pirates are we. We search for adventure and love to be free. Out on the ocean, sailing the sea. Ahoy, Gavna! Glad you could make it. We was just gonna have us a sing-along. Why don't you pick out a song for us, matey? Just click on the piano. I didn't do anything. You must be really lucky. Apparently so, because I literally just had my mouse there. Captain, do anything. My card, matey. It's a blast, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't forget, every time you click on a pirate, you get a collector card. Ahoy, governor! Here's my collector card. Hi, me hearties. Have a card. Spivy. I think it's actually how you say his name, Spivy. <laughs> Excuse me there, sir. <laughs> sir, I just- I just- I, I just want your- Can I just- Sir, I just wanna- Something down there. Is there anything? No. Nothing down here, but I'm guessing like- I, We went down from the stern of the ship, so... I'm guessing- there's gonna be probably like two more doors or something like that, or maybe one more. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Just give me a moment. Anyways. Now all you have to do is click on the arrows until you see the name of a song you like. Then click on the play button and we'll all sing the song together. Just follow along as the words appear on the screen. I can't wait to sing sea shanties. <laughs> So are you actually gonna like I'll sing you a song, a good song of the sea. Yo ho blow the man down and trust that you'll join in the chorus with me. Give me some time to blow the man down. With larboard and starboard, we jump to the call. Yo ho blow the man down. The skipper's commands we obeyed one and all. Give me some time to blow the man down. What does it mean, give give me some time to blow the man down? What kind of... Am I reading this right? Is is my adult brain reading this kid's song right? I mean, I knew, I knew pirates were kind of freaky, honestly. They were kind of freaky, but... Are we talking that kind of freaky? Because I don't know if I want to be a pirate. Also, are they going to sing all these to me? Like, am I just going to, like, be looking at the sheet music and just them be singing to me? Or are they actually going to, like... Have like like the little some music video segment that they had like in Castle and in Wild West Town because I really want those. Search 
searching for silver, digging for gold, a chest full of treasure we're about to behold. Anything shiny, anything bright, searching for treasure is a pirate's delight. Also pillaging. Chest full of treasure, in other words, go! Anything sparkly like stars in the night, searching for treasure is a pirate's delight. And pillaging! Load up the cannon and fire away! We love to shoot cannons, night time or day! Take aim at your target and focus your eye! Then laugh as you watch that old cannonball fly! Load up the cannon and fire away. We love to shoot cannons, nighttime or day. Take aim at your target and focus your eye. Then laugh as you watch that old cannonball fly. And everyone dies. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me. Bring back, oh bring back, oh bring back my body to me. To me. Bring back, oh bring back, oh bring back my body to me. I don't really know the history behind like these like famous like sea shanties, pirate songs kind of idea. I've always wondered though the My Bonnie song though, like that almost feels like the London Bridges song, like it's a kids song. But in reality, it's more like like kind of like with London Bridges. London Bridges was about people getting the plague and dying. <laughs> and I'm not I've never really been familiar with the term Bonnie as like a pirate term or like a ship term in a sense. The only thing I can think of is like Bonnie maybe meaning bonnet and maybe bonnet meaning something. Because bonnet does have a few different meanings, especially when you look at, you know, the international meanings of it. So like, like the white caps or, you know, the headwear that women would wear uh, back in like the 18 and 1700s, that was a bonnet. Um, in Europe, the metal piece that comes down on the front of the car, they call that a bonnet. We call that the front hood. <laughs> so I'm like wondering if it means something like that, like it's a ship term, but it almost feels like it has like a, a darker meaning behind it. Like it's more like a pirate captain talking about a lover of his that maybe had died at sea and is basically talking about this woman now goes like is in heaven she lies over the ocean she lies over the sea she's in heaven heaven is above the sea and sea slash the ocean and he wants her back <laughs> i'm wondering if that's maybe the history behind that song like it has like a darker undertone <laughs> should i fact check myself right now yes okay so there actually is no real reason like i mean there's a reason but nobody actually knows the reason like behind the song like what it actually meant what it possible like what the possible history was behind it but according to song facts as well as a few other sources i was looking at they say although its origins are unknown this popular scottish folk tune is said to be about charles edward stewart aka bonnie prince charlie who led the Jacobite Rising of 1745 in an attempt, in a failed attempt, to reclaim the British throne for his father, James Francis Edward, Prince of Wales. After a final stand at the Battle of Culloden, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong, English was not my best suit. Or my, my most strong class in school, or ever. Uh, Charles escaped Scotland aboard a small boat, inspiring another folk tune, the Sky Boat Song. Because Bonnie could refer to a man or a woman, supporters of the rebellion could freely sing the tune under the guise of a romantic song 
about a lost love. It does, but it doesn't make sense. Like, again, listening to the lyrics for myself, like, it, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Anyways, let's just move on. Swashbuckling pirates are we. We search for adventure and love to be free. Out on the ocean, sailing the sea. Hey, me bucko. Come along, mates, and join Captain Stubbs and his crew as we sail the seven seas. We'll explore exotic lands like Pirate Island and maybe even search for buried treasure. Just hope we don't run into them bomb pirates, Ribs and Spiny. They ain't no fun at all. Or get scurvy. Okay, and this seems to be the last song. It's a pirate's life, a pirate's life, it's a pirate's life for me. In our galleon, we have lots of fun as we sail the deep blue sea. It's a pirate's life, a pirate's life, it's a pirate's life for me. We can swim all day, we can dance and play as we sail the deep blue sea. We can swim all day, we can dance and play as we sail the deep blue sea. Okay, that was all songs. Not as much of a bop as well Westertown and definitely not as much of a pop as Castle. But a good selection of sea shanties. I still like them, they're still nice. What are we making back here? What is Betty Blackbeard Cookbook. <gasps> Walk? Cooking for your captain. I, I love the reference here, the just pop culture reference. Hey, I paid top dollar for these seats. When does the show start? You are the show. Is that... That pot is being held together with tape. I have concerns. I just hope it doesn't come alive. Also, is there anything else back here? No? Good. Hmm. No crab cakes tonight, I guess. This here's it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just not hover over something for one second. What was I doing here? Let's see. Here's me collector card, bucko. Looking for... What was I looking for? Um, 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 uh, oh, I remember. A pirate's work is never done. Well, I guess I'm going on a hunt for collector cards as well now. So, uh... I'll be back when something happens, when I actually find like another piece or something like that, because I know this is going to take a while. I 
I'll bet my beak there's a map piece here somewhere. That didn't take long. Never mind. I didn't know you could go to the very front of the ship. You must be really lucky. Apparently I am. I'll just bet there's a map piece here. Shiver me timbers! This is a frightening part of the ship. I'm gonna do it. Also, are those my feet? Those fish down there mean business! Let's hurry up and go back before something happens! Wow, I'm getting seasick! Pirate overboard! Better watch where you're walking, matey! Come on out of the drink now, before you get all pale and wrinkly. Let's go. Hurrah! I surrender to your superior barrel-flinging skills. Fantastic. No! Hurrah! I surrender to your superior barrel-flinging skills. This is the amazing 5-in-1. That's my collector card, matey. It slices, it dices, it magnifies, and it's yours for only $19.95. Great. Okay. So now I know where the last piece is. And I don't want to find it just yet, because I just realized that I don't have all these cards. And I want all these cards now. So whose don't I have? Captain Pongo Pete, Gunner John, Helga, Spiny, Mr. Kim, Mr. Civvy, Spivvy, sorry. I don't know, I still don't know how to say your name. And I think that's pretty much all the crew, at least. But I think there's... I know there's, like, more bad guys, so I think what I need to do is go... Uh... Back up here. Ah, it's Stubbs and his crew. Come to bother us again. Ah, oh, no. Stuck again. Get the bomb meal! Spug! You've taken my card! Hey, give me back my card, you landlubber! Aye, aye, Captain Bo- That's my collector card. I ruined the audio just to get this stupid card. <laughs> Tell me more about my eyes. Ah, uh, Calestra, your eyes are like two empty holes filled with coal and broken bottles. Ah, you say the sweetest things. Okay, so Calestra. Cholesterol. 
and ribs are a thing, apparently. That's confirmed. So that's all the cards now, so I'm gonna go back and go get that last tre uh, treasure piece. How did that get in there? Oh, glad you could drop in, Captain. Would you like some lemonade? No? Okay. See if you can find it. Be careful if you walk out on that plank. Found it. Kippers and swizzle sticks. You found all the pieces to Captain Stubbs' treasure map. Now you can go and find the treasure. Yay! Remember, X marks the spot. Look for the X on the map. See it? Yes. What's it next to? Rocks? A tree? A sea monster. That's the best way in the world to find buried treasure. Where the frick am I gonna find a sea monster? Bob. Oh, that's that's what happens when you click on the sand. Okay. Okay, so I don't think it's along this shore. I think it's along the other shore where we just saw cholesterol and ribs uh doing something. Taking a lovely boat ride. Great. You found the egg. An X marks the spot. Time to dig up the treasure. Oh boy, I can't wait. Dig. I want to know what this treasure is. And gosh darn it, so help me if this is just friendship. treasure let's go back to the ship and play again why also why did why did bone meal and i think it was maybe rib just jump into the ocean just suicide <laughs> but i guess we're gonna go back then okay yep so i need to just Take a moment, because now we've technically completed the game. It's kind of an it's kind of not a satisfying end, to be honest. I mean, I'm glad I found the treasure, but it's just like, okay, now we get to do it all over again. It's like, why? I went through all this work, and yes, I got my reward, but I wasn't even able to enjoy it. Can I enjoy the fact that my I got the treasure? Like, what is the treasure? Is it just seashells? Is there gold under there somewhere? Like, what the heck? I'm just gonna quickly go through the credits because everyone deserves to have a little credit. The 
but it's loud. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly go through credits. One, there was actually a quite a few animations of the characters that I actually didn't see in the whole game. Maybe they were just specific to the credits, but some of them I recognized from being from the game. But I just wanted to see it. On top of that, yes, I do just like giving credit to the company, even in the people that worked on these games. Just because, yes, yes. This is not as good as some of the other games in this Great Adventure series. Okay, when you look at how games were made back in the day, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they had the patience to do it. I could not do it. I barely have enough patience to make like an RPG maker game and that's like the easiest way to get into gaming, like game making. It's all done for you pretty much. So it's like, I wanna give credit where credit's due because obviously these people did go through the you know trouble of making this game for kids, but even still, it had a lasting effect, regardless. So I want that. And I think I got all the cards. Um, I just want to go through them one more time. I don't know if I'm going to print out the cards, <laughs> to be honest. I would like to. I'd like to print out the cards, you know, color them out, and maybe put them on the wall like for the collection. But uh, I'll have to wait and see, because it's going to take some time to convert those images over since I wasn't able to actually print them out from this computer. But yeah, that's the whole game. Regardless of all the nitpicking, I still like this game. Like I said, it still had a lasting effect on my memory. I still remember this game very fondly, actually. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I could add it to the channel, um, you know, just to have it. Because again, I think this is kind of a catchphrase for me, like, especially for the games that I play. Some of these games that I play and some of the, some of the games that I'll find, you know, they may not be good, they may be great, and people perceive them differently. 
But regardless, it's like, they were somebody's childhood. They may not have been my childhood, but they are somebody's childhood. And I don't want to necessarily disrespect games in that sense. Especially for the fact that these games are old, there's no way to take them back, they've already been published. We just learned from the mistakes, move on. <laughs> this, this is thankfully not one of those games, though. This one was good, but it could be better. But yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, obviously there's a lot more Fisher-Price games out there. Uh, I'm not even sure how many more Fisher-Price games there are, but I will definitely look for more. And, uh, again, like I said, I do have a few more in my collection that I'll be touching as well. For recording. <laughs> I have a few more Fisher-Price games that I will be recording. Yes, I'll be touching them because I need to take them to put them in the computer, but you know what I mean. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>